Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm experimenting again today. I love experimenting because the results are just, oh, they always amaze me and I love that. So first off, before we start, I would just like to say, I hope you all had an amazing Easter holiday and happy Easter from me and my little channel. Um, what we're gonna be using is some alcohol ink applicator felts. Um, I've got the round ones or I've got the rectangle ones. I also have the round or the rectangle dobbers. I've got some sellotape, which mm, I'm gonna wait and see. That's that's the second part of the experiment. We're going, oh, we're, we're, we're gonna try different types. So first off, I have two sorts of double-sided tape and I have glassine paper so let's put these bits out of the way first and oh well and obviously alcohol ink if you hadn't have already guessed which i'm sure you would have right so first off let's slice in half some of this paper i don't know why i'm doing it so perfect get my metal ruler out I have a new metal ruler. I have my jaggedy edge one, but I also have this one now as well, which I'm going to, um, let's just crease that a little bit more. So we've got, All right, so I'm just gonna, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because, well, it just doesn't have to be perfect. Right, so now we're going to go and I think that's long enough. Yep. Lost, lost a couple of little bits up there, but hey-ho. Right, so... What I am going to do is I'm going to take a sheet and on the back, we're basically making washi tape. So uh, there is, there's loads of um, faux washi tape videos um, out, tons and tons. This is not my original idea. I must admit though, I haven't seen anybody um, use this paper um, I could be wrong and I could have just missed it. And if I did, I'm ever so sorry. Right. So we're just going to cover the paper with... In fact, I am going to leave a little gap. I should have left a little gap there, but I didn't. Trial and error. Trial and error. I'm going to leave little gaps in between so that... Oh, don't go down yet. Don't go down yet. So that we can cut it. Right, I'm going to do this bit off camera because it's Boy. covered. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to cut down the side. Perfect. Do it once more, just to get the hanger on us. Right, now let's get up all this tape. If you do that, put down a bit of paper because um, that was a little bit time consuming. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. But hey-ho, we live and we learn. Right, so here's the glassine paper. Um, now I've got some dust stuck on me tape, which is fine because this is the backside. So, right, 
Shall we see if this works? I'm going to have to put something down. I'm going to put a file folder down on my mat. Right. Now, distress inks. We're going to have rust. Um, oregano. Butterscotch. Caramel. Mushroom. And some blending solution, just in case. Right, so I'm going to use... Let's get out a few of these. Right. This might not work, but it might work. So... I'm going to put some butterscotch on my dobber and it works. Oh, it works. And it goes on like a dream. Oh, oh no. Oh no, now I found another project that I am going to just be making tons and tons with. Oh, this. Oh, it's running out. It's drying up. Can we get it filled? Can we? And that's little. <sighs> now, look. And it's drying, which is perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm going to put on a little bit of mushroom. I'm going to use the same dobber because I'm a rebel. Right, I just want some streaks. All right, that will do on there. Now I'm going to try a little bit of rust. Let's try a little bit of rust on this side. Right. Right, if you want some texture. Just dob it. Just like that. Oh, now let's have a look and see what happens if we add a bit of Oh, look at that. Mm. Where do I want to go now? I'm going to put on a little bit more butterscotch. But I'm, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to, I'm being, look at me, look. I'm being a right rebel. Just dob it on. Where's me? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's not, it's not at hand. It normally is. Where's me puffer? Um. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. Right. Because we, I want a, a yellow tinge. But I definitely want to keep some of these dark spots too. Oh, that is just... Right, let's put a little bit of butterscotch. 
just some little drops let them spread out oh i wish i knew where my poof poof was i've normally got it here as well it's always in my way and now when i want it it's gone typical typical right let's just lightly dusting over right let's just right now um what oh now i need to work out what lids want right so my blending lotion has got a lid on that one for that that one for that and that one for that right now let's give it a quick dry that's all dry and i love it i i love it right um first off i'm just gonna rip it i'm just yep just gonna rip it except i need to get this side off and we're just gonna cut along the tape Right, that will do. Keep that bit. And then let's move these aside. And I'm going to get a project I did. Um, ba, 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 ba. So I have a little book page tag there. And what I'm going to do is... Right, so first off, I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to rip some and then take the backing off. Oh, I hope this works. And let's see. Have it coming off the top. And then cut this bit off. Oh, I love it. And I'm going to put a bit on here. Nope, I'm not. Look at that. Let's put a bit down here. You have your very own vintage tape. And let's see. Yeah, look. You can rip down the middle. So it's all distressed. Let's just, let's not waste it. Let's put a bit there. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm trying to think of other things I can put it on. Um, what else have I got? Let's have a look. Oh, I've got my, I've got some blank ones that I didn't do. Um, if you remember, I did these, um, envelope pockets with Elizabeth Craft Design stuff. Um, I'll leave, I'll link the video down below. They're so cool. But I cut a load and I didn't, I didn't use them all. So <laughs> I'm going to play now. Right, let's get the, let's get the end off. Oh, wrong way. There we 
go. And let's put a bit. Oh, I'm gonna have a little bit poking out under here. Yes. And then I'm gonna fold it over. Look at that, a little bit of vintage tape. Oh, I love experimenting. Come on, mister. There we go. Right, and now I'm gonna have a bit down here as well. Oh, fold it over. Look at that. Oh, I creased that one. Uh, push it out. There you go. It's gone. Who'd have thought, <coughs> excuse me, who'd have thought that was just glassine paper and double sided tape? Vintage. How cool. And look how many strips you get. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I'm going to do another one. Should we do another one? I'm going to do another one. Right, let me get all the tape down on the glassine paper. Right, so this time I've done my little thin tape. Um, not that it matters because you saw I could rip this in half, but I just wanted to do my little thin tape. I've just put it on random. Right, and this one I want, I'm going to use caramel because I want it to be quite yellowy. And, ah, oh, this is leaking. Ah, oh. Typical, typical. Oh, already got some splodges. <sighs> I knew one of them was leaking, but I couldn't remember which one. Oh, well, now I've got inky fingers. Stained inky fingers, which is cool. So I'm just going to put some dots, drop some dots all over it. And then where's my dobber? Where's my dobber? There it is. Get some texture on this one. Right, let that dry. And that is literally, oh, look at me bottle. It's covered. I think it's coming out of the lid. All right, I'm going to have to get a new one of you. Um, oh, look at me fingers. I'm going to need to get my hand sanitizer out now. Um, that is all I'm going to do on that, that one. I just wanted a light coating. Is it all I'm going to do on it? Is it? Yeah, yeah, because I can do more. Right, so I'm going to cut a piece, cut a strip off. And I'm going to test it. Oh, look at that. Right, I want one more into the middle, I think. Let's put those aside. Look at that. Oh. Right. It's a little bit. I'm not too bothered, to be honest, but that was a bit too much. Rip. Right, where's that project? Here it is. Um right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick a different one. No, nope, that's got stripes on it. I'm gonna use this one. And 
I'm going to rip because I don't want a straight edge on the top. And I'm going to go a little bit over. Right, where's my knife? There it is. Let's pull this off. And put it... I think I want this end. I'm just going to put it over the edge a little bit. Oh, I like that. I like how it goes like that. Right, so let's trim that and that. Look at that. And then, oh, get off. And then we're going to put a little bit here to cover that little white spot. And because I made it a bit bigger, it's not completely over the tape. So I'm just going to get my nail and I'm just going to tease up the edges. Just like that. Now look at that. Oh! How cool does that look? Let's do it on this bit. That bit. Let's cut that a little bit off because it's annoying me. Oh, this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's all grungy. Can you see? I hope you can see where it's sort of like, look, it's all lifted. Just like that, just like an old bit of tapes, just like it's gone all, all manky and mouldy. You know, like when tape's been on there too long, it's gone all yellowy. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I wonder if I could do the same with these ones. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, look. Just have it come up at the, look at that one. Oh, and I love that this one, because I only did, mind you, this one, these, this is transparent as well, because obviously it's um, glassine paper, glassine paper. I can never remember which one it is. So I'm just going to call it glassine because, you know, I like it. Um, so it is quite transparent, which is perfect. But because I only did one layer, this one seems a little bit more transparent. But how cool is that? Oh, I know this video probably isn't very long, but I'm so excited with this. This this makes me happy because now I have all these strips of vintage washi tape. Right, so now I'm going to try some different colours. Uh, right, so we've got crimson. We've got crimson. Because I do like to use red in my junk journals and on my ephemera. So to have a red Whew! that's red. That is definitely red. Love the colour. So cool. Right, where's my, let's do a little bit of, let this sprinkle. Oh, look at that. I like that. And I want it to look a little bit, old so I'm gonna let's try a little bit of butterscotch inside right 
that's just now this is proper proper grungy right uh, heat tool oh now look at that that's cool right we're going to put that aside to dry properly and have some other bits too oh look let's squash all those out right so this one i'm going to use let's take off my little dubber oh i've got tape stuck all over me i'm going to use aquamarine but only three dobs Get one. Get the corner. And then that's dry. So I'm just going to Give it some texture. And that's quite a cool one. Do I make it a little bit more yellowy? Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, because I, I think it's the butterscotch that makes it look. Let's put a couple of. All right, take the blue dobber off because we're not that much of a rebel. We don't want green. Oh, but we got green. Right, that's okay. Oh! Of course, I don't know why I didn't think of that, Tony. You did this in college. We know about our complementary colours. Right, I'm going to... Let me snip that bit off the end because that is... Getting on my nerves. It keeps sticking to me. Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. It's grungy. If I put a little bit, let's turn you over. Just a teeny weeny bit. Yep, look at that. Now remember, we're going to cut it in strips, so it's going to look completely different. Right, let's leave that one to dry. And what are we going to do now? Um, ba, 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 ba. Let's leave you there and you there. We have the big strips. I'm going to do slate. I think this is like a grey blue. Right, let's get another dubber. Oh, I've got the sniffles. Oh, that's a cool one. Let's put a little bit, a little bit more on. Just a couple of dots. Yes. Oh, hold on. Like that. That would look really, that's going to look really cool. That is really cool. I'm not too sure about the red. Um, hmm. Right, I'm going to, I like the red. I think I, right, I'm going to put a bit of watermelon on it and see what that does. 
and I'm going to add it to my from straight from my dubber. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Remember, like I said, it's going to be in strips. So it's not going to be... It looks a bit intimidating at the minute because it's all one sheet. Right, I'm going to leave that on there to dry. And uh, let's put these lids back on here because otherwise they're going to evaporate. Right, now I've got another big one. And I found my step here. So... I'm going to use that. I'm not going to make another one. I'm going to use this one, be a rebel again, because it's already dirty, but it's dried, so it's fine. Right, I kind of like... Oof, I kind of like the effect I get when... Get off. When I put it straight directly, instead of putting it on the paper, on the dobber first. Look! Oh, I love that colour. See, good old sepia. <sighs> now I'm content. Now I am absolutely content that... Let's cover up the white spots. Go down. really make it oh right a bit more because i just want some at this end oh i love that i love that except i've gone the wrong way for the tape which I guess isn't a problem, um, or is it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's all right, because it moves anyway, so. All right, let's put some more on. Oh, this is just too cool. Get in the corner. Yep, right, that will do because that's proper vintage. Um, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to do some more. But this one, I'm just going to do easy, just like this. couple of marks on it wham bam thank you ma'am let's do this bit as well on the end there a couple of marks a couple of drags just a little bit a little couple of drags that's it done bam oh oh this is so much fun i've got vintage tape right let's put all my alcohol links to the side and put those down. Oh, right, let's get them all up here. And I even made a rose gold one. Right, let's cut a piece of this off. I'm not very big into my... Um, my glitters and my metallics. I'm not a very big glitter and metallic person. But that's cool. I, was, I mean, you know, I probably would use this somewhere. I don't know where because, like I said, um, I don't use a lot of metallic. But I just wanted to show you that the... Um, where is it? Let me find it. 
the rose gold one mixative works on the paper and tape as well so yeah if you've got any of those try those too but mm, right i'm gonna cut these up the tapes oh look how many i've got I'm, just, I'm not gonna be able to do this for projects all over so many different projects right i'm gonna give the sepia a go because i just want to see what it's gonna look like right come on that's better right i'm gonna put a bit down here and i'm gonna fold it over <gasps> look at that oh and again, you can ruffle up the sides if you want. It's up to you. You don't have to. I l it literally, can you see that? Can you see that little shine? Because it's that paper. It is actually like tape. Oh, that is just so cool. Um, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. And I'm going to... Right, let me try... I want to try the red one because um, I love it, but I don't know how it will look. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to put it on this book page that I've got. Um, just see. That's quite cool. I quite like that. And if I get... Um, <laughs> knocking everything over. There goes my glass mat. If I get my, my labels from my last video, and maybe... Mmm. Or I could. Yeah. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like that colour. I do like that colour. Right, I'm going to give the Acmarine Marine a quick go. Because I literally, the glassine paper came in sheets of 100. So I have some to spare. Now I like that. It's not as transparent, but that's fine. But I do like that. And with, oh, shall we, what, what one should we put? Let's find a speckled egg one. Yeah, or maybe a green. Or maybe The mushroom over the top, that looks nice. Ignore the red. How cool is that? Oh, I'm very happy. I am so happy. I am, I can find myself making lots and I, lots. I can find myself, I'm going to be using these a lot, especially these colours. Um, oh, I love them. Absolutely love them. They're so vintage. They're so, oh, they're just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Can you imagine these on a collage? You know, like the um, the Amazon washi tape I was using, which is just a mustard colour. This, here it is, look, this. It was just a mustard colour. If I get a bit, I 
think this one is at the end of its roll, but we might be able just to take a smidgen and put it next to there. That's the Amazon tape and that's my tape. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's, oh, I really am going to be using lots and lots of these in my projects, especially on my collages. I hope you give this a go. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have had, again, yet again, more, loads of fun. I love experimenting, experimenting and having it work out how you envisioned it. It has got to be one of the, oh, it's such a good feeling. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited. And I'm now, I'm going to go and stick these on everything. I might even stick them on my kids because they're just that cool. So hope you enjoyed it. If you do give this a go, don't forget to tag me in the socials. Don't forget that you, even if you don't film on YouTube, you can see if you've got an account, you can still use the community tab and post a post just like exactly the same as Instagram and everything. So post a photo with a little write up and don't forget, tag me. I want to see what you make. I love seeing what everybody makes. Right, I'm off. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And there was something before I go that I wanted to say. One, I will link the glass, glass, glassine, glassine, whatever, paper in the description box down below. I got it off of Amazon. I will also link all the inks as well, every single ink colour that I used. So, yeah, and um, don't forget to get stocked up on your double-sided tape because this is a cool project. It's really fun to do, playing with your alcohol inks. Right, that's it, I think. So, I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Bye!